today. Me and Tucker are going to take you along with us for a massive October garden harvest. Let's go! Let's get right into the harvesting. Start with some sweet peppers right here. Look how many are on this thing. Beautiful color on these peppers. Really nice. Great variety, super productive. I'm definitely gonna continue growing this one in the future. Look how many on just one plant. Looks like Tuck wants one probably. He loves these ones. They're so sweet, they're so delicious, and they're the perfect snack, right boy? So we'll let him snack on that. Get the rest of these. Got okay, nice of a harvest on this plant that's not even massive. We've got some beautiful peppers that are ready. Pan left a little bit. Check out these peppers, the size of them. Look how beautiful they are. Let me harvest this one. Look at that. I've got some insane orange peppers, bell peppers like this too. Absolutely stunning. Let me grab this one. And then, look at it. It's got one little mark on it, but that's okay. And then check out the ground cherries right next to me. These are in peak right now. This is such a fantastic little fruit. They taste so good. When they're ready, they're on the ground. They come in these little baskets so the fruit stays nice and clean. It's such a cool plant overall. overall. Let me just try one real quick. This is the Aunt Molly's ground cherry. They're sweet, they're delicious, and they're just an incredible snack. Look at the color on them. That's when you know they're super ripe and ready. Let's taste one. Incredible flavor. So we got a bunch of those to grab. Let's swing over here. This is the zucchini that, or the squash that just doesn't quit. The white scalp squash. I can't even count how many I have gotten from it. And there's still so many more in there. So this is the kind of squash we only need to plant about one plant. I mean, look how many are even back here. Look at them. Crazy. And let's go this way. We have more peppers. Come this way. Check out in here. See some nice purple peppers, but then swing around even more. We've got the apple sweet peppers. Look at these. Look how excellent these look. Let's see. Look at that color shape. Look how nice it's looking in the basket already. Tuck's already on his second pepper. Guy's a beast. Let me cut some more of these out, but look how many are ready in here on this one plant. <laughs> Insane production. Let me cut this one. And then let's get some of these purple peppers here. Look at these ones. Nice size to them. Look at that. All different color bells. One of the things I love about fall is the array of colors. Hey, come on, buddy, you're having too much. The array of colors is just insane. And check out the orange pepper we're gonna go grab too. Look at the size of that bell pepper. Before I do that though, I wanna grab some lettuce. We've got some lettuce that's ready now. Some more fall plantings are starting to kick in. Before I show you that though, I gotta show you one thing. Look at this insect netting. This is so important to make it so you don't have to spray your plants almost at all. It keeps the insects out. Look right here, we've got a harlequin bug looking for his way in. He can't get to our brassicas. We don't have to worry about him because we've got this insect netting on. Let's just lift this up real quick. Here's some lettuce that's ready. Look at the color, look at the beauty. So we can be able to eat some fresh salads. Cut one of those out. Not the biggest lettuce, but a beautiful looking one, that's for sure. And then come, come over this way. We've still got some grapes ready. We've got the Concord. There's a bunch of grapes ready along this fence line. But we'll just take a couple of the sets right here and look how they're at peak ripe. There's a harlequin bug on one right there, it looks like. But uh, look, look at the color. It's like that dark purple. These are so dang good. Seedless Concord, incredible flavor. Mm. Oh, we don't let Tuck get to those. Keep moving, there's a lot of tomatoes over here, but we're gonna skip these to get some bigger, better tomatoes. Before we do that, let's check out some eggplants. First time I've grown this variety, gonna be grown in the future, La Stata de Gandia. Nice color to them and a good harvest. Look at the size of these. Look at this. Really nice stuff. We got a bunch of beans and stuff that are ready that we can grab for tuck too. Look at that. And there's even more eggplants in there. Let's get this orange bell pepper though. Looks like it does have a bit of a mark. It might be a little past at the top, right? But look at the color, look at the size. And then let's get this other one. And then I think I see some albino bullnose peppers hidden in here too. They look like they're ready. Look at the different colors. 
it is just, I mean, you can't paint a better picture. And let's check out some of the tomatoes right here. We've got the Lemon Boy Plus. Look, coming come around this side, look how many tomatoes are ripe on this thing still. This late in the season, you gotta get this one planted. That one came off really easy. It's getting a little past, I think. But look at all these ones that are nice and ready to be harvested. More of them up here. Think about how small of a section that just was that we just moved around in, got all those harvests. And then come over this way and just look up a little bit. Look at the tomatoes on this thing. Look at this. This late in the season, this level of production. They're so good, these tomatoes. Oh, this is one of my best late season producers. Although I still have some nice late season ones to the right of me here too. Look at this. Like the Super Sweet 100 and stuff. But, mmm. That cherry bomb tomato is so good. They're so sweet. At this time of year, there's almost no acidity. It's just pure sweetness and a little taste of heaven, I think. Come over here. More peppers. Look at these ones. More like a red pepper. Get some more of these. Drop those in. Let's swing around over here. More of the Cornita Arancia. Look at these. Look how much peppers are on this little plant. And I know Tuck wants another snack. Let's get him some of the purple teepee beans. Look at the purple teepees. These are such good beans. I love these ones. Tuck likes these ones too. Right, boy? Here. There he is. We'll let him snack on that. It'll keep him busy for a minute. And let's swing over this way. I've got a bean that I've never grown before. I believe this one's called a Thai soldier. Look at the color on those. Look how cool they look. Huge beans. I've eaten them fresh. They're not as good as like the uh, dragon tongue beans, which we have planted right next to us here. But they are a really cool looking bean, a fun one to grow. And I mean, we just were, moved around that little section and we harvested a bunch of stuff and we didn't even grab, you know, like all the stuff we could have grabbed. So let's move over to another spot and just keep the harvest going. Just emptied the bowl. Time to fill it back up again. Let's start with some apples. Look at the Liberty Apple here, filled with apples. I've been eating a bunch of them and they're so dang good. Look at the size of this one up here. Let's get this one. Actually, that one looks like it needs a little more time. Let's get this one. Oh, look how easily that came off. Beautiful. And let's grab this one over here too. This one looks like a good one. Oh yeah. Organic, homegrown apples. You'll notice a little bit of the white. That's the surround kaolin clay. It's just clay. This makes it, this protects it from all the bugs and stuff. So it's a, uh, works fantastic. Allows us to get massive harvest organic right from the backyard. Apples, nothing like eating them. Not to mention a bunch of the ones in the ground that we can just grab that fell on their own. This isn't for you, Tuck. You won't believe it, but we still are getting some cucumber harvests from stuff like the Suyo Long. Look at this cucumber. Look at the size of it. <laughs> this late in the season, cucumber harvests. We love to see it. And we have another round of cucumbers that's about to start producing again. So it's great when you get to get the most out of the season and just continue harvesting food. Some nice tomatoes down here too. Grab some of these. A bunch of the Juliets do oops, fantastic late in the season. More of them over here. But let's keep going. We got a bunch of stuff to grab. Stick this in here. Follow me this way. Let's check this out before I go though. Look how cool this is. I grew this a number of years ago. This is the toothache plant. These are the, I think it's also called like the electric buzz plant or something you take these you bite onto them bite them in your mouth and it makes your mouth like numb it's a really odd sensation but they're a pretty cool plant and it just came up on its own so we had to let it grow come over here here's the shiso too we let this grow because it just looks so beautiful really nice looking leaves more tomatoes ready to be harvested great late season producer this one has a couple marks right here but still pretty good these other ones i know are nice look at that and look at this one over here. And then there's another nice one in the back I know. Right over here. And then another cucumber up here. Let's get, let, uh, actually that one looks like it's passed. I know I got some over here. I wanna grab Tuck a cucumber so he can snack on, he's been looking for a snack. Late season cukes, nothing like it. Right boy? We'll let him hold it so he can snack on it. I'm gonna take a bite of this one too because uh, I can go for a fresh cucumber right now. 
Mm. That tastes like the Socrates, one of the best cucumbers I've ever eaten. What do you think, Tuck? Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. If you love seeing Tuck in the videos, it makes you spam some hearts down low for the little boss. We also wanted to mention, and you might have noticed, we just got, dropped the new merch. This is the So With The Flow merch. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it came out. We've gotten a few different colors in the white print and also in the black print, and uh, I think it just looks awesome. So grab one of the shirts down at jingsprigioni.com. Let's keep going. I gotta show you uh, the size of some of these tomato trees over here. Look at this. Look how big these are. Look how much production is on it. This is the Super Sweet 100. Excellent tomato. So productive late in the season. You gotta be growing some hybrids like the Super Sweet 100, the um, the Lemon Boy, and the Cherry Bomb if you want late season tomatoes. So good. Here's a variety that we let come up on its own. These tiny little tom tomatoes. Producing really well late in the season, which I'm pretty happy about. Pretty cool when the whole ground's just full of tomatoes that you didn't even plant. Swing this way. Head over here. Check out the gold metal tomato. Look at the size of this. This late in the season. Look at that. <laughs> so awesome. And then let's jump over to there with the mountain magic tomato. Look at this. Look at all of them on this thing. Just get a bunch of these big tomatoes so late. Oftentimes people give up on their tomatoes this late in the season. Not me and Tuck. We make sure we grow some good varieties that take us late, late into the growing season so we can be eating fresh tomatoes. And check under here. We've got the Zucchino Rampicante. I've read that you can grow it as a winter squash too, so we're letting some of them finish. Look at that color they're getting on them. Let me just harvest this and cut it out. It almost looks like a butternut squash, which we have a bunch ready, which we'll harvest, but look how cool that is. You can get them when they're like this, like a winter squash. I'm excited to taste this. Or you can eat them as like a summer squash, so it's a really diverse, awesome plant. And over here, we've got a bunch of eggplants. Look at the size of some of these eggplants. Like this one over here. Let me just throw this out of the way. Check this over, come on this side. Look at the Rosita. Look how beautiful those are. Look how big they are. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. And then come over here, come this way. We've got so many uh, butternut squash that are ready. Look at this one down here. See that? And then back here. Even more of them. So back here is just littered with butternut squash and buttercup squash. They're everywhere, like these ones here. So we grew a lot of winter a good amount of winter squashes here, getting nice harvest and happy about that. We still have some more stuff to grab before I let you go. Look at how many peppers we have ripe and ready in pots. Look at the habanada. More of the apple sweet. Look at the color on those. The shishito. Check out the hot pepper lantern. And even the, the banana peppers, look at all that. So many to grab. More of the albino bullnose in the back. And look at the color of the pears now. The pears are like absolutely perfect. I, I gotta grab this one up here. Look at the size of this one. Just gonna do a little twist. It's gonna be such a good one. I know it. I gotta, I gotta taste this one. Oh, I like them. These pears you wanna eat when they're like a little harder, but uh, they're so sweet, so good. It's the butterscotch pear. There's nothing like that flavor. Incredible. There's a few more things I wanna show you. Come over this way. Check out these white eggplants. Look at the production on this. That one little spot, look how many eggplants are right there. In here, oh my gosh, this is in a pot too. I gotta to show you the size of a white eggplant I have grown in a different spot. Look at the sweet, the sweet potatoes growing in this bucket. I've done this before and I've got massive harvest from them. And check out this, this eggplant too. Me and Tucker are definitely going to be growing more eggplants, peppers, tomatoes in containers. I've got tomatoes that are still doing fantastic in containers over there. I just gotta show you this white eggplant really quick. Come here. 
We were just over here a minute or two ago, but I forgot to show you it. Look at the size of this eggplant here. Look at the size of this plant. Insanely productive. Look at look how long some of these eggplants are. Huge plant. Look at it here. Crazy production. And then look, we've got the more white scallop squash underneath here. Just three of them in that one spot. So much food and not even that much space. That's today's video growers. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you got something out of it. Me and Tuck had a blast out here, especially at this time of year. To be harvesting this much food, the diverse number of things, it's, a, it's an absolute blast to be out here. Tuck's still looking for another snack. He's so loyal, he works hard, so he earns all the snacks. You gotta make sure, we gotta make sure we keep him well fed. We just feel so fortunate that we've got this much stuff growing, surrounded by this much food, and uh, even growing in pots like this year, it's like reinvigorated me to just try more things because it was something that I didn't, that I just didn't take enough advantage of in the past. So I'm definitely gonna be growing in pots more, but I'm still gonna make sure I'm growing a food forest. And when you can t tie all the different kind of gardening techniques together, I think it just makes for big harvests and for a really fun time. Me and Tucker are always hoping that you guys are getting stuff planted. That's why we make these videos. We want you to be growing in your backyard, whether it's a massive amount of acreage or it's just a small patio. We had a blast, we hope you guys did too. Tuck, the young king, and James will be back to you again real soon. We out.